Welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohammed Azam and this is the Learning Cocos 2D part number 10. Yes, we have already recorded nine parts and this is part number 10 so we have come a long way and I hope you like this part because I'm really excited about uh, this particular because we are this particular part because we are going to talk about tile set games and tiles okay so if you're not familiar with the tile set games you can uh, you know check out like Zelda that's a, one of the tile set games and uh, I'm not a much of a game player so Zelda is the only one uh, that I can remember uh, and I think the Bomberman and all that stuff so those are also a little bit of tiles uh, you know tile oriented games for this you will need a software ap application uh, it's called tile t-i-l-e-d um, let me see if I can open a window and just browse to the tiled. So it's a free application. That's uh, that's a great thing, and you can f it can be found at mapeditor.org, and you just download it. If you are using a Macintosh, you can download a Macintosh version. If you are down, I mean, using Windows, then you can download a Windows version. Okay. And this will allow you to create tile-based games. So let's first go ahead and use this application to create a tile. Now this is the application. It's called Tile, of course. And um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm just going to see orthogonal. Now you have different options. You have orthogonal and isometric. So orthogonal will create like a 2D tile-based game, and isometric is kind of like a 3D-ish look to a 2D game. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to use the regular orthogonal over here. Um, the width and height is important because 100 comma 100 is a pretty large map. Okay, I mean it's good if you're creating a real app, but for demo, we'll just use 40 comma 40. And the width and height of the tile size is also very important because you need to convert the location in the Coco Studio position into a tile base oriented position. Okay, so 32 means that if you're running your application in a portrait mode which is 320 by 480 so the width will be uh, 10 tiles and the height will be 15 tiles because 320 divided by 32 and then 480 divided by 32 so let's go ahead and create this so it shows you a like a blank screen and uh, this is your tile editor. Then the next thing is to get the tiles. Now you can get tiles from anywhere you want. Okay, uh, I have downloaded some tile maps that I can use in my example. Uh, here we go. So this these tile maps. I mean, you can see I have different options over here. I have uh, grass and water, and I guess these are pebbles and lava and trees. My favorite. So the first thing you will do is to color the whole screen with a default background okay so let's let me cover the whole thing with green everything is grassy and nice okay um, also we need to realize that this is not like it will not appear like this okay uh, since I already told you that it will be one I mean ten right ten squares so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you can actually make the game kind of like that or when you're creating the tiles that you can actually make the height and width but this is just to explain that this portion till this portion will be visible on your iPhone and you can put some trees over here and there uh, you know it's just uh, limited by your imagination I'm just gonna put some water here we go a little bit of water and uh, not really the mountains, I guess. Um, there's no need for lava. So it's kind of like a weird tile map, map which has uh, different things. Uh, I think this is like a solid ground. Okay, and let's add more trees to it. And this is only the one uh, tile map or tile sheet that I'm using. You are free to use any sort of tile sheet uh, that you can get. If you are looking for free, to make sure that they are really free, and uh, you know, if the author wants to the credit, you should always give the author the credit for everything. Okay, so this is the tile map that I've already added. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it, and let's save it in the uh, 
where should we save it? Let's save it on the desktop and let's uh, call it, uh, I don't know, trees. Tile map. Tree style map because there are a lot of trees in it. So now I have saved it and let's go to the uh, where it sits. Trees. Yeah, that's my beautiful daughter. Okay, let, let's uh, actually go and open up this, which is uh, Xcode. And now the next part is to just copy the the tile map into Xcode. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over here in the resources folder. Okay, here we go. And I also need those tile uh, the tile set. Okay. Uh, and here we go. That's in a different folder. I'm going to copy it. Now, if you are getting a load error or anything, well, after the code that you write, but one thing to always check is to open up this, so this is an XML representation, XML file, and, um, you know, change it to, uh, to where it is. And, I mean, it might work, but it's always a good idea to have, uh, like in the current directory, you will have your tile uh, tile set in the current directory of the tile map. Okay, let's save this. So we have our tile map inside our resources folder. We also have the tile set, which all the images, like trees and mountains and whatnot. And next mission, next task, is to load the tile map in our game. So I'm just going to compile my app and see if everything builds correctly. Okay, everything is building correctly. So now let's go ahead and load the tile map. CC EMX. And tile map also has layers. Okay, I'm going to just use a map. Map. And CC TX map. And then tiled map with... And you simply uh, you know, give the name of the file, file map, which is trees file map dot tmx self add child map. Okay, and let's go ahead and build this. Let's run this and see what happens. Of taking a while to run. Hello. So you have your tile map. Uh, it's printed on the screen, and you can see the tile map, right? It it looks pretty. Of course, you can see the only the kind of like the starting point of the tile map goes on to a little bit more further because the height is 40, uh, 40 tiles, and I think now you're only seeing a portion of it. Okay. And this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, and this continuation, like for tile maps, I, I will now next show in the next video. I will show that how you can actually animate the tile map so it will go further and uh, you know will actually uh, be a vertical rolling tile map. But that will be covered in the next video. Hope you like. Thank you very much.